So hello guys. So today we have ZAI IDE. So it's the fastest AI code editor. So it's not a VS Code for first of all. And uh, currently it's available uh, in Mac OS, Linux uh, and uh, soon in Windows. But uh, yes, like it's not new. Yeah, I uh, t um, I may tell you uh, it's not new. It uh, has been launched like uh, one to two year back. But uh, currently uh, it's crushing with its AI agents. It's totally open source. Let me uh, deep dive into uh, let me show you. Yeah. So uh, it's not uh, VS Code <laughs> fork. Yeah, it's built with Rust. So it's pretty much fast and uh, less memory. Uh, like uh, it uh, takes up uh, like it's very efficient and takes up a, a lot less memory. It's not uh, Electron J, so it's not that heavy. And also it's open source. So yeah. And we can see the new AI agentic uh, editing stuff here. Like uh, it was good enough, but uh, now it has released some cool features like we see in cursor. So it's like uh, beating, like it can beat cursor and also open source. Like, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Like um, AI agentic editing and CV server support, um, revert back feature. Like uh, we can revert back to a certain, like uh, I will show you in the chat, like uh, in the code part of the ID. So yeah then we have multi-agent instance like uh, we can create multiple uh, instance of the like multiple windows and like we have multiple agent instance so one agent uh, like working on my one of the part of my project so i can have another like uh, another instance of the that agent in uh, working um, in my like uh, a separate part of that project only so yeah that's also a cool feature so it also has like um, it has many other lot of features but i'm not going deep into those let me first show um uh, like you have to like download if you are using mac or linux you can simply go to the download link and uh, just click download from here i have already da downloaded it so let me show that so yeah it's uh, like this um <coughs> so yeah uh, basically it, uh, the ui uh, is like this and uh, this is the chat window uh, agent chat, chat window yeah like uh, it was not that much great enough but in the new release it's great yeah, it's totally easy and simple so yeah you first need to go and log in uh, with your like github account i have already done that and so if we go to the settings yeah here you can see like uh, we have this model context protocol like mcp servers uh, add custom we can add custom server um so uh, and also you can like install mcp server uh, from their marketplace like it has a lot of uh, like mcp servers context 7 yeah that's a nice MC, mcp server i use day to day like daily so let's install that and other than that yeah so it's open source so you can plug in uh, any of your api keys for, for like uh, if you're using cloud uh, you can put in your cloud api keys or open ai api keys or in gemini also works so mm, yeah uh, you can totally use all those all those stuff and they have also their own subscription models so you can also use those but what i have done is i have already um, like the github copilot uh, like uh, subscription from from my student account so like what i have done is uh, here you can see you can put in the api keys all those things uh, like it's amazon bedrock anthropic uh, yeah github uh, copilot chat so what i've done is i have put in like i have authorized my github copilot um, with with this zid so like if you got github copilot then you can easily authorize that and you can use the the github copilot models directly in here so you can use DeepSeek you, um, by the API keys or Google API like uh, Gemini. You can put in your API keys here, like uh, or also you can use your local any like local models like the Quen3 just released <coughs> a very nice, awesome local uh, model LL uh, model. So we can also use local models, Mistral, Olama, OpenAI. Yeah, it has a bunch of those. So yeah, I have put in my keys like authorized with Copilot. So let's just get into how it works. So I have added in one of my project that is a Next.js project. So here it is. So it's uh, like uh, the app router. We have API and also page pages. So yeah, it's basically a text uh, like uh, a build splitter. So build splitting app like we will um, give an image of the build and it will uh, we can split that into many of many people so yeah let's uh, ask it first let me let's see how is the app let me show you what it does so yeah it's an xjs app so it's running in 3000 let me open 3000 localhost 3000 
<laughs> yeah so i can upload the bill here uh, where is it i have downloaded a sample bill yep this is it uh, let's analyze the bill hmm. so yeah yeah so what i can do is here i can uh, like uh, give my uh, give, give the names like john doe john we can add the names like neil uh, so i have you john and neil so we three went to one restaurant suppose for uh, split the bill uh, easily yeah uh, these are the items so yeah so hmm. okay cool so yes these are the spendings for each of them cool okay so let's add in some new features okay let's tell it uh, please add in more features in this web app so i'm using this cloud 3.7 uh, sound from my like github copilot uh, so you can see here where is it yep github copilot models mm, yeah you can also use their z uh, z models like they have got their own subscription or if you add the api key of any of the provider then those uh, models will be shown here so yeah let's go yeah let's see the agent in action so it's going and doing the tool calls we can see um, the like the edited files so if we click on this button that is follow agent then we can follow the agent what the agent is doing currently so so yes you can see the agent is typing all these things line by line so yeah so it's also a great feature that is follow agent So finally, it's done. So it's it took a lot of time. Like I don't know um, the GitHub Copilot uh, models inference is slow or not, but it took a lot of time. So currently, it has implemented like a payment tracking system, uh, bill history system, uh, saving, sharing, and export feature. What else? Uh, setting and system preferences, uh, UI and en en enhancements. Okay, cool. Let's see the site okay that's it so let's give it this so yep here is it yep let's analyze the build so you can see view build history uh, and the settings and all this like it only had two tabs so it has got this payment tracking so i don't know will it be helpful or not but um, we can see uh, also there is an option to share so um, currently it's not showing anything so let's go see bill history upload new bill okay so i don't know how it worked but uh, yeah also there is a settings uh, like currency uh, theme okay let's go to light theme and uh, let's save the settings okay light theme doesn't works so still we can see a lot of things are done so it was by the uh, z agent so we can see how, how good it is like it's totally open source the repo is uh, the github repo is totally open source you can check that out uh, let me show you that uh, where is it uh, here. so you can give it a star so it already has 58.8k uh, stars so yeah do check that out uh, do download it and use your like if you have been using client like rucode so we can use this id as well because it's super fast uh, it's because it's built in rust and also you can put in your own api keys and do all these agenting stuff and uh, the like the agent and i have not tested out the, their mcp but i guess the agent is great enough to like uh, uh, use the mcp and all those th things so i'm betting on this uh, z like z id let's see where it goes and uh, i hope uh, it will be crushing like open source alternative of like cursor windsor so yeah let's see how it goes um how the zid goes 